The member for Wide Bay. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Small Business. Will the Minister outline to the House how the government has supported small business over the last year? The Minister for Small Business has the call. The Minister has the call. I thank the uh, member for Wide Bay for his question and I acknowledge the great role that he has played since taking over from another fine former member for Wide Bay, and that is Warren Truss, who, uh, who served that electorate so well and served the National Party so well and served this parliament so well. And I also acknowledge the work that the current member for Wide Bay has done for the 13,200 small businesses in his electorate. He has hit the ground running. And next Wednesday, he is attending Ros and Michael White's IGA store opening at Parisian Beach. That is an example of a fine small business employing Australians. Small businesses in Australia, 2.1 million of them, employ 4.7 million Australians. They employ 4.7 million Australians and they contribute $340 billion to the economy. They are big numbers. They are big numbers. And I've been asked about the work that this side of politics, this side of the House, has done for small businesses. And we've and I've only got a minute 58 seconds to go, and that's a shame because it could take a long time, Mr. Speaker, to talk about the instant assets write-off, $20,000 for for businesses to be able to invest in their companies. I could talk uh, for a long time about the company tax rate. It's gone down to 27.5 per cent, the lowest it's been since the late 1960s. That's what this side of the parliament has done, because we acknowledge the Liberal and the National Party are the side of politics for small businesses. Hand up all those on this side of the House who've run a small business, worked in a small business. Hand up those on that side who've run a small business. And there you go. There you go. There's proof positive. There is proof positive about what our side of politics does for small business. That side of politics, I tell you what, Mr Speaker, that side of politics has never seen a small business they wouldn't want to run a picket line out the front of. That's right. And we are this, just this morning. Just this morning, the latest results of an ANZ Roy Morgan survey show that business confidence is up, consumer confidence is up. That is great. Going into, going into Christmas, the retail period, that is a tremendous thing. We are also, we are also simplifying the business activity statements, and that's a great thing for small business. It's a great thing for small business. And it just doesn't cover wide bay what we're doing for small business. It could be a stock feed store in uh, Shepparton. It could be a market uh, for, for fish in Mackay. It could be a dentist in, uh, in Dubbo. It could be a, a, a cafe in Coffs Harbour. Indeed, it could be a bookstore in, uh, in Batman. And I note the, uh, the member for Batman has the Anthony Albanese's book. I don't know what the numbers man for Labor is doing there, but businesses across Australia are passionate and diverse. They're risk takers. They are, they are the lifeblood of our economy. And, and it's time, it's time that Labor probably should acknowledge that, Mr. Speaker, because they, they are certainly the, the backbone of our economy.